one. Eric Ross to the guy with the eye here. Obviously, I can't physically be in Germany for photo uh, photo Kina, but uh, this is the best I'm going to do to report this, and I might make a lot of these videos like this a week just to keep everyone updated on what's going on because I know some people really come to my channel uh, to look for things, but I just want to give my thoughts on some of the stuff that's already coming out. So just jumping right into it, some of the biggest news. I already have three coming out from photo Kina, and right now we're going to start with kind of, I don't know, the smaller news, I guess, in a way. It's Sony's announcement of the A99 Mark II. Now, they've got a full frame A99, it's an A mount uh, lens system, so, you know, it has its own lenses for that, which is very interesting that they're keeping this alive, but they're trying to, I guess, keep up with the sports market, and I think that this is the big push right here for something like this. They say they're competing with Canon in a way, maybe they didn't officially say that, but they're doing, they have a 12 frames per second uh, DSLR-like camera mirrorless but uh, you know this is how the system works it's 42 megapixels so uh you're getting a lot out of it that's not too bad it's going to have 12 frames per second like i said and it's also going to have five axis and body stabilization so you get that extra protection all depending on what you need now the biggest jab i think to canon is that it does full 4k recording with no crop like the 5d mark 4 just came out from canon and it has a 1.74 times crop and that was very very frowned upon as rightfully it should be as well. This does introduce a uh, cool new like hybrid autofocusing system. You're gonna get 79 cross points, which is a lot for something like that. Uh, and it's a phase detection system, by the way. And it has 399 supplemental uh, points as well. So you're gonna be able to move and get the action, everything that you need. Now, once again, there's no low pass filter typically on these uh, types of things from Sony. They don't have something like that. It's going to have an ISO expandable from 50 to 102,400. So you're going to get a lot of lateral and range from this thing right here. As I said, it's targeted towards sports. And I think they're trying to compete maybe with a 1DX in a way because they're trying to go up this route. The only thing is it's going to cost you $3,200 in November of 2016. And just to kind of give you... Uh, the gist of what it is right now. This is pretty much, I think, what the A99 came out as. I don't think it uh, came down as much, but you got a 24 megapixel. So it's interesting to keeping this alive. They've almost literally doubled the megapixels, and they've really went all in on this. They've doubled the frames per shooting. So this is the upgrade from it. This is a huge upgrade with a bigger price tag, but they've thrown a lot of, uh, you know, a lot into this thing. And you know, there are some early photos of this, um, uh, of it right here. So. If you kind of just want to take a look this is pretty much what the a99 is going to look like it's mounted to one of their long lenses right here so as you see it's going to have a very similar build to what the a99 was it's just their new flagship camera and it's going to be pretty interesting to see uh if if it's going to be what it is so if you're used to dslr layouts this is pretty much going to be the same the next big thing Pretty much two big things came from Panasonic, possible G5 news, but you're going to have the uh, G85, which is the Panasonic G7 successor, and a lot of people have been wanting that update as well. As you can see right here, it will be available at the end of October 2016 and will be about $900 dollars, dollars, dollars for, the, uh, for the body only, but 16 megapixels. Interesting new thing here, I, I think it's new, you have a dual IS, so you'll have like five axis and five stop image stabilization, which should really help out with something like this. Once again, if you're not familiar with their line, they do make um, micro four third sensors. So that's pretty much what you're getting. You're also gonna get 10 frames per second, a three inch swivel touchscreen, pretty much what Panasonic has been doing right. And every other brand has been failing at Canon, Nikon, Sony. Uh, they've been absolutely doing horrible with that. Built in Wi-Fi, but they're, they're, they're saying you could do 4K video at 34 and 20 frames per second, absolutely great. But they're also, big thing is that they're targeting this frame grabbing as well for like 4K photo mode. So you're seeing more of a push with this. And I bring this up because their GH5 is kind of saying the same thing as well. It's this push towards uh, photo grabbing from video. I don't know if I really like that. I don't know if it's necessary, but I guess if you can do two in one, it's going to be two in one. So that's pretty much the big news with something like that. And then the last thing, as I was mentioning, is the GH5 has 100% uh, been seen in the wild. You see right here. Um, 
has been seen right here. It's been seen in, uh, you know, the cases and the official announcement from them is that it is coming out in uh, early 2017. So it is finally confirmed. It's been, what, two or three years since the GH4 came out. I think about two years. And it just needs an update at this point. But that thing is ahead of its time. They know how to uh, control the industry with something like that. So this is a big deal. Really, the only thing that they're, they're mentioning is the 6K photo mode and 4K uh, mode as well. It's going to do 4K at 60 frames per second, which not a lot do at pretty much like true 4K to that matter. But the 6K mode is pretty much going to be a 18 megapixel extraction, photo extraction. Once again, this is the push for some reason. And if 4K photo mode, you're going to get an 8 megapixel uh, thing as well. And they say they may introduce better uh, vlogs. That way you can uh, start at a better color grading point from it being more raw and going up from there and possible something more unlimited about 4K video recording. I don't know about that, but so far that is the big news right now. You've got the Sony A99 Mark II, you've got the G85, and you've got the G5 news coming up. And once again, I'm probably going to make a video of like this today of compiling some of the best stuff, so that way I don't bombard you guys too much, but this is exciting to me because there's a lot coming out there. So let me know down below, do any of these three excite you? Also, what else do you want to see from Photokina? Canon, uh, you know, already did some stuff before it, so they're not really going to see anything. Nikon, you don't know what they're going to do, and we will see what's going on. Sony already kind of, you know, did their thing as well. Thank you so much for watching. Eric Ross, the guy with the eye. Let me know down below what excites you, photography-wise. Don't get weird.